One of the challenges you might face when it comes to practicing the technologies of Cisco Data Center is, my goodness, what are you going to do for equipment? I mean, after all, when you're doing like the CCNA route switch, you can run out to eBay, you can grab used Cisco devices that are being resold there, you can build your own little home lab for under $200 and be on your way to hands-on practice, even cabling the equipment. But with Cisco data center equipment, we have like the Cisco 9000 series devices, which will run around $100,000 a piece. No kidding. In this nugget, you will understand that you do have options when it comes to getting hands-on practice with this exciting equipment. What some students like to do is they like to go up and they like to rent rack time. If you do a search on data center rack rentals, you'll see plenty of companies that are offering you access to a rental rack of equipment. Typically, you're going to be paying by the hour as you practice on this real or virtual equipment that they are hosting for you that you'll be accessing via a Telnet connection once you pay the appropriate rental fees. But a super exciting option that's completely free I want to mention to you is Cisco's DevNet. If you go to the DevNet website for Cisco, you'll see that there is a sandbox option when it comes to data center equipment. So notice I've gone into the sandbox area and there's a category called data center. And inside here, we discover that we can set up a reservation for a sandbox that includes equipment like the Nexus devices. So this is completely free of charge and it's a way for you to get your hands on this exciting and expensive Cisco gear. But of course, another option is for you to virtualize this equipment right in your home. And you can see that's what I'm doing here with Cisco's viral product. So I have a Nexus 9K and a Nexus 5K that are emulated here inside of viral. And you might be wondering what type of resource consumption is this using? And you can see that currently I'm using about 11 gigs of RAM for this and about 43% of my i7 CPU. So you need to have some robust hardware in order to run the Nexus equipment in a viral environment. And the Cisco viral product is not free. It's about $200 per year for the personal edition of viral. But it sure is pretty sweet. Here you can see I'm at the command line of the Nexus 5K that I'm running in Cisco's Viral. And if we do a show version, we can get the information about the NXOS software that we're running. And we can run all or most of the commands that you would expect, like show VDC for virtual device context. We can see my default VDC on this device. There's also another nice option that I want to share with you, and that is the UCS platform emulator. This is a bit dated, this product, but you'll note that it does allow you to run a UCS for experimenting and playing with the unified computing system. This is a downloadable OVA that you're going to use inside of something like VMware Workstation. It's completely free, and it would allow you to emulate a fully functional UCS environment. So, okay, maybe you're not going to eBay anymore and buying physical equipment that you're gonna rack and stack in your office as you practice with Cisco CCNA data center technologies, but please note, as we've seen, there are options for you to get practice with the NXOS software, with the application-centric interface, and with the Cisco UCS system. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.